The monarch butterfly, or Danaeus plexippus, is a milkweed butterfly and perhaps the best known butterfly in all of North America. They can also be found in New Zealand, the Canary Islands, and at Wish Upon a Butterfly Farm in Newcastle. Well, we started raising butterflies about 10 years ago, and we started um, raising them outside in the greenhouse. The business was started about 10 years ago by Jolene Miner's mother. The butterflies are raised on site and then shipped all over the country for releases. People buy the butterflies for releases at weddings, funerals, fundraisers, we've had birthday parties. The butterfly sanctuary is where most of the butterflies are housed, and it's where the females lay their eggs. Catching one, though, can be tricky. This is a girl butterfly I have here. Um, the, you can tell it's a girl because if it was a boy, there'd be two little black dots right there at the bottom. Okay. So this is a, a little girl butterfly, so we're hoping she'll lay us some eggs. But you won't find just monarchs in the butterfly sanctuary. There are also painted ladies, spice bush swallowtails, and Milbert tortoise shells. You can see his wings kind of look like he's got cat eyes on yeah. the, the two front. That's uh, something to help protect him. Birds don't want to eat it because it looks like a looks like a little cat there. It's not doesn't look like a butterfly. And you can get an up close look at all of them at the Canfield Fair. You can come into the exhibit and see the butterflies. We'll have monarchs, painted ladies. Uh, we'll try to have a few other varieties there as mm -hmm. well. But you can actually come in and feed the butterflies. So you dip your finger in a juice and put your finger slowly in between the two front legs of the butterflies, and they'll walk up onto your finger and drink the juice. Oh, okay. So we have kids and adults love that a lot. Oh. So yeah. can we can we release it? We can, yeah. Well, it's alive. <laughs> <laughs> but the transformation from egg to caterpillar to chrysalis to butterfly happens in the house. We have here um, the different stages of the butterfly. Mm -hmm. We start out with the eggs. The butterflies, we had said the females out there lay the eggs. So this here is probably about 200 monarch eggs. Okay. Um, these are the painted lady eggs. They lay all over the leaf. You can see the tiny little blue mm -hmm. eggs. Be careful with those. <laughs> they are fragile, <laughs> yes. <laughs> the next stage is the caterpillar. These caterpillars here are only one day old. As you can see this little guy here, he's forming a J. And mm -hmm. then they hang like that for one day and then they form their chrysalis there. So you can see the How chrysalis. long will they be like that? For about one week. Okay. So they'll stay as a chrysalis for a week and then they'll emerge as butterflies. Once the butterflies emerge, they only live about two weeks. It all happens very quickly. Once the butterfly emerges, we've only got a few days to ship them out and send them on. Wish Upon a Butterfly is having its grand opening for the season on July 7th. We'll have free tours for the day, uh, come in, see the shop, um, see how the butterflies are raised, see the whole um, raising process in the farm. Um, we'll have special events going on throughout the day. It's only fitting that 10 years ago when Miner's mother wanted to start a new business, she chose butterflies, to many, the symbol of new beginnings. There is a quote that says, what the caterpillar calls the end of the world, the master calls a butterfly. So that's very symbolic for some people who want to release them at funerals. And a lot of times people come to us and say, I see a butterfly and it reminds me of my grandma who passed. Every, you know, She loved butterflies and it reminds me of that. So I think um, butterflies have a, a deeper meaning to people. Wish Upon a Butterfly is located at 419 Mount Air Road in Newcastle. For The Daily Buzz, I'm Michael Moliterno.